Hello, my name is Owen. I built this microcomputer. It's called the Demo Mic. It is designed to be a challenging platform for creating software demos, and its inspiration comes from the old 8-bit microcomputers like the Atari 2600 and the Commodore 64. In the demo scene, absolutely amazing things have been done with those systems by leveraging hard work and skill. I'm a senior in high school, and right now is when colleges will take their last look at me before deciding whether or not to admit me. So I've concocted this project as my own demo, as a way to show what I can do creatively with both hardware and software. I came up with this specific idea on a whim, and the hardware for it came together in a day. That process of actually putting together the Demomite hardware is a good representation of the electrical and computer engineering knowledge that I've gained in the last six or seven years on my own. However, I've spent a much longer time gaining knowledge in computer science, which is why I believe that the first software demo that I wrote for the demo might best shows the extent of my abilities. It's a very stripped down version of a game called Miasmata that I'm working on for the PC. In medieval times, it was thought that a poisonous gas called the miasma caused disease. The miasmata were the actual particles of contagion that did the poisoning. In the game, the player fights the miasmata, which are corruptions of the creatures that once inhabited the earth and the player does it by doing his own form of corruption. For the demo might the challenge was to fit the game into a very small space and run it on very limited hardware. The demo might has an A Tiny 2313 microcontroller which has 2 kilobytes of flash, 128 bytes of RAM, and 128 bytes of EEPROM. To get a sense of the scale of that, one of the shortcuts on your desktop is probably more than 2 kilobytes in size. The 128 bytes of RAM is just a bit more than one half the size of one file name in Windows XP. All of the code for the game, and all of the code needed to interface with the hardware, had to fit into that very limited space. To do it, I wrote everything in assembly code, which is one level above writing everything in binary. I also had to use some very complicated tricks. For example, I created a compression algorithm specifically for this project. From an algorithmic standpoint, the compression algorithm isn't that amazing but being able to fit it into this limited space that I had is what makes it an achievement. All of the code for the game is filled with tricks like that, and I encourage you to take a look at the code yourself to see the extent of my achievement. I would like this project to be taken as a representation of my abilities at this point in my life. However, in my opinion, it's not the greatest thing that I've made. So please take a look at my project blog at www.hackneyact.com. Thank you for listening and watching, and I'm sorry for the disaffected monotone. It's difficult to talk to yourself.